AST Space Mobile is building the first and only global cellular broadband network in space designed to operate directly with standard unmodified mobile devices you already have, no extra equipment needed. This is a telecom giant in the making that will not only connect the unconnected, but will integrate its always on signal into government defense strategy and the internet of all things. I am as excited about this company, I think as any company I've ever been as an investor. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of this as the, what are the, I can name them off the top of my hands. Apple in its early days, uh, Tesla when it was trying to break through. At some point I was really, really excited about Netflix. Uh, I just love that story. And then the passion I have developed over the last six months for this company is through the roof. It's not every day, I think, that a company gets to say it has the opportunity to completely redesign how human beings communicate with one another. And so when I say in the pitch that this is a telecom giant in the making, I mean that, but we're going from from telecom as, you know, towers on, on earth that sometimes work, sometimes don't, don't reach everywhere to the signal that beams in from outer space that is basically always on wherever you go and what that will do for the way human beings communicate and what they're able to do to me is a, is a paradigm shift of sorts, because I think people get stuck a little bit in thinking, oh, it's just slightly better cell phone coverage. But if you think of that next level of what governments will do with an always on signal in terms of defense operations, and then this goes a little bit to my AMD thesis, what happens when every gadget imaginable from refrigerators to thermostats to whatever roaming things we have delivering our food when all of those things need a signal to connect to the internet and if you're in new york city and you're between skyscrapers and you know that's poor signal these days but won't be when the ast comes online basically it's gonna empower a whole new uh, i think world really it's still undeniable that it's pre-revenue so it still has to cross the chasm of actually launching the satellites. But once that technological hurdle is overcome, which I have much faith it will be, then we're off in the, to the races in terms of the revenue.